but you got to start somewhere. They're going to hug it out here to kick off round number one. Semper is, uh, he's got a very powerful hands, especially his, his right. His, his right hand has a lot of power in it. He likes to throw a big overhand right, and he is a bit of a, of a pressure fighter. You can see him moving forward now. He's throwing the left now. He beat Buyamin Aliyev by unanimous decision in July, and now he is back here in August to take on Karimov. Karimov was also in action in July as well. Break! Break! Sever with a very impressive record thus far in his career. Eight and one. Half his wins coming by way of knockout, and he is undefeated so far here in KOK Turkey 2-0. Spinning back kick there from the Uzbekistani fighter. A lot of these fighters from Uzbekistan do have traditional martial arts backgrounds, which tends to creep into their kickboxing style, whether that be Taekwondo or, or Karate or whatever. And a lot of times you'll see some of these more unorthodox style kicks. Se Sever, on the other hand, Gokhan Sever in the red gloves from Turkey. More of a no-nonsense kind of a fighter. He's a powerhouse. We, ha we haven't seen the aggression, I don't think, really come out yet from the bull. But don't be surprised when it does. Just about a minute remaining now in round number one. There is a very powerful combination. Nothing scoring, though, from Gokhan Seven. These guys may be conserving their energy a bit here in round one. From what I've seen of these guys, they can both be extremely aggressive inside the ring. I, I would expect that when round two kicks off, that uh, these two really start to tear into each other. Right now, though, they're starting it off slow. Ooh, there's a right hand that landed from Karimov solidly on the left side of the jaw of Gokhan Sever. Both guys cautious here. It's, it's interesting when you get two guys who are very aggressive and you throw them in the ring against each other, a lot of times this is what you get. You, you get a fight where neither guy really being that what? aggressive. And one of those, well, something may have strayed below the navel. Stop. End of round one. As we had a brief glimpse into the corners there. We go back and take a look at round one highlights. As I said, I, I have a feeling that the best is yet to come. I, I think that they've been holding back slightly. And that they've been being cautious because they know what the other is capable of. They, they've obviously seen the, their opponent's fight from last month because it's on the internet. So you can't miss it, right? Uh, but uh, it should be interesting in round number two. I think these two are really going to start to open up on each other. And that's not going to be pretty because both these guys, as I mentioned, are powerful and aggressive. And once that bell rings here in round number two, I've got an idea that this thing is really going to get started. Let's see if my prediction is right here or not. There goes the bell, and we are officially underway here in round two. Yeah, look at this. Look at Karimov really opening up here to start things off in round two. You can bet that's going to wake up center too. Both these guys have landed some significant shots here, and we're only seconds into round number two. Swing and a miss there by the bull. Combinations, most of them blocked though by the turret. Out of range that time. 
Jimmy. Leg kick on the outside of the thigh of the left leg of the Uzbekistani fighter. He Looked went. like he, he, he went in almost like uh, was going to clinch him, and they just got thrown to the other side of the ring. And uh, right hand goes Fight. in over the top. Sabri's got to be a little bit quicker here now. He's getting beat to the punch almost every time by Karima. Mark is in those punches Nick. and kicks not landing extremely clean. <laughs> and again, both guys having trouble landing cleanly. Now he's starting to open up. Good leg kick. Very solid leg kick on the tail end of that combination in the right hand. Bounces off the cranium as well. Now these two really going to town on each other as Karima tumbles to the canvas and this crowd comes alive. What? That was a great exchange here and the crowd certainly loved it. Sava really opening up in the corner now. Run. Referee's Run. gonna step in here and give him an eight count. Run. He took a lot Run. of punishment in a very short amount of time. Run. Did Mohamed Karima. Here comes Sever now, keeping the pressure on. I think that Karimov is hurt here. He may be hurt. Trying to catch him with a leg kick coming in. Oh my! What a knee! He just buried it right into his face. And I think he busted his nose. His nose is busted right now. And there's a trickle of blood coming out of the right nostril. He just clocked him with the left hand right in that nose. Here comes Sever. There's the knee again! Oh my, what a knee! You can see just how emotional this crowd is responding here. That is the end of round number two. Much to the chagrin of Gokhan Sever, he was really going in for the kill there at the end of that round. Take another look, folks, at round number two. Certainly, things turned into the favor of Gokhan Sever in that round. The bull just charging forward. About halfway through that second round, Sevar just was able to capitalize on a lot of the successes. That was a turning point, I think. That was a big turning point in that round. And Sevar really started to open up after that. Here we go, third and final round now. Let's see if Karimov still has something left. He's going to need something big here in round number three. There's that spinning back, fit, uh, that back kick, but that's what got him in trouble last time. Brings the kick up to the head, and now he's trying to get out of town, trying to get away, trying to stay away from Gokhan Sever. Sever also slowing down a bit, being a bit more thoughtful in the ring right now instead of just trying to, trying to close the show. Perhaps that is a wise decision. He, he did knock down Karimov in round two. He had a very good second round. So he doesn't have to put the pedal to the metal here in round three in order to come out the winner. And I still do think that Karimov is, is, is hurt. He's damaged goods now at this point. But you can't sleep on your opponent. You cannot sleep on a guy. I've seen it time and time again. You give him a minute, you give him two minutes in a round to recover, to, to regain their composure. 
and it can backfire on you. So should Sever continue to play it safe here in round three, or should he just try to end the fight? There's a big swing with the left hand. Knee, I believe, was blocked on the inside. You can see Karimov taking big, deep breaths whenever he's got a chance to do so. Volkan Sever now moving forward. Looking for that right hand and momentarily had his back turned on his opponent. Inside a minute now in round number three. Red, red. Muhal, as they call him. Mohamed Karimov in the blue gloves. He's going to need something big here. He has got about 30 seconds and some change left to turn the tide of this fight. Blocks that kick on the forearms. But Gokhan Sever still seems like he's in complete control. He, he doesn't look like he wants to really finish this thing. He's not in a hurry to really put his opponent away. What is going on here? Does he have a cut? Now the referee saw something in the corner of the eye of Karimov. I, I couldn't get a clear look at it. I don't know what it was, but evidently it was nothing to, to, worry, to worry mother about. So we're going to continue on with this fight. Turns his back again on his opponent. You can't blame Gokhan Sever for continuing the fight. The referee never said stop. A bizarre third round. Well, Gokhan Sever has kind of made me eat my words. I, I, I kind of was building up this guy as a very aggressive you know, pressure fighter who's looking for the kill. And in previous fights, he has been that guy. But we just didn't see it in round number three. Maybe he didn't have the stamina. Maybe he was just playing it safe and he was just trying to get the win. Who knows? Right corner, Kurmuzakoshi, Gokhan, Seven.